Alrighty, we'll be finished up the announcement in game. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll see some people filter in here. As always, we're going to start off the town hall with a little bit of a monthly recap. Just to quickly go over actually what the town hall is going to be. It's going to be a monthly recap. Go over some of the cool stuff that's happened this month, of which there has been plenty. Then we're going to go into a fairly big announcement uh, coming up second. Talk a little bit about uh, the purge rules, then extra life, then Horus is going to do a bunch of info about the Discord and the changes to the outfit as a whole, um, and Academy Leadership Core, all that cool stuff. So stay tuned. And then, of course, at the end, we will have the Q&A as always. Uh, generally, you want to save your questions for the end, although you can ask questions that are relevant to certain topics, and maybe we'll read them, maybe we won't. Um, how do I host the Town Hall and the World Cup simultaneously? I'm just built different, hitter. You know this. All righty. So, monthly recap to start us off. A lot of stuff happened this month. It's almost too much to go over. I've had to write down a bit of a list. One thing that we had this month was the world record attempt, which we did on Emerald, surprisingly, instead of PTS. That went pretty swimmingly. If you were there, thank you for coming. We definitely did break the world record. Hopefully, everybody's going to be getting their uh, special titles sometime soon, I hope. I pray. We'll see. Um, and yeah, that was actually a whole lot of fun. Uh, if you came to that, appreciate you coming out. And we totally smashed the record, and we also totally crashed the server immediately by all going to the ascent and uh, dropping like 50 orbital strikes. So that was fun. Um, what else happened? We got the anniversary update as well that came in. A somewhat controversial update. I like it. Uh, things in it that definitely need some tweaking for sure. But uh, we got some cool new graphics, got a new game mode, got some base changes, got some new cosmetics. Um, and yeah, overall, good to see that there's still content coming to Planet Side. And of course, the fact that Planet Side 2 has now existed for over 10 years is kind of mind boggling. Um, and that we're still getting content is bananas uh, so thank you everybody for sticking around for however long you have stuck around if from the beginning if from before then in planet side one or you joined at some point afterwards thank you for coming in and playing with us we appreciate you um we had this major scl restructure which again horace is going to talk about more in his section we did a bunch of new stuff in the discord you can look around everything should be more pretty uh, we completely changed up the ranking structure and also made some of the rank names a lot cooler or a lot more Legion themed, perhaps. Um, slowly but surely, the uh, the Sokar doctrine is 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 morphed over time. But uh, hopefully, y'all uh, y'all like the y'all like the changes. Definitely feel free to give us some feedback. We're still in construction phase, as you can see in the banner at the top of the Discord. Thank you, Vox, for putting the construction tape over the banner. Um, but yeah, you should be see those changes kind of cement in pretty soon, and then we want your feedback, definitely. Uh, we also, as a part of our extra life endeavors, uh, started up the Minecraft server again, which has, as I've seen, been pretty dang fun. Uh, definitely go and check that out in the Minecraft channel and join in on that if you would like. There's going to be some events and stuff happening over there. I think maybe a build competition or something, people coming up with ideas. Should be a whole lot of fun. Very Good place to chill if you want a little break from the planet side action, want to do some some mining and some crafting. You know how it is. Some mince raft. Um, we had the Ultimate Empire Showdown, which was both good and bad from what I've heard and from what I saw. It seemed like it was pretty fun and the VS totally freaking dominated, as expected. Uh, but there were also some technical issues and a couple of last minute rule changes that were pretty tricky but it looks like it was regardless a lot of fun so thank you to all the scl folks who participated in that mainly our folks from the after wars team as well y'all from what i saw smoked them smoked them rolled and smoked them hard carried um we also had a bunch of extra life stuff uh, which i will talk about more later but we had the 12 hour charity stream and also the extra life flyby event which was oh, perfect beautiful Gorgeous. You can see some of that inside of the Outfit Media channel and just in the media channel as well. Um, was was absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big bulk of the uh, the main goings on of this last month. As you've seen, the Discord slowly but surely come into form, and we've also seen, uh, if you've been paying attention, a whole lot of Prey SKL joint ops. A whole lot of Prey SKL joint ops. That was fun. Those are always good. Lots to learn there. And that provides such a beautiful segue. See how I did this? Such a beautiful segue into 
my next section, which is uh, the big announcement for today, uh, along with a couple of other little things that I think Horace will get to. But the big announcement for today, if you have not been living under a rock, if you've been paying attention to the ops, the Discord, some of the roles, potentially some of the new emotes coming in, um, you will know that SKL, at long last, at long last, will be remerging with the Praetorians. Holy moly, I never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day. Look at that. Beauty. Beauty. So, if you don't know, if you're new to SKL, or honestly, you don't have to be new to SKL to not know about this, um, because it was a long-ass time ago. But back in uh, something like October 2018, um, when SKL was a wee... Not not was wasn't small, but when Discord had like just become popular and the, the Discord for SKL had just been made and Sokar and a couple others were kind of just the only people doing some leadership every now and then. Um a group was formed within SKL, the first of the many subgroups that would eventually form within SKL. Of course, uh, we have many subgroups these days and even had more before um that have come and gone, but the first to be formed uh, back then by Uber and Spazoon was the Praetorian Guard, which was a group who tried to uh, who, who tried pretty much they they try hard a little bit rather than just being platoon leads they did some trainings they learned callouts they ran efficient squads and uh, basically sort of took a note out of Bushido Way's book and started doing some cool stuff and uh, I remember being in one of those those early trainings and it was pretty damn impressive and so they started up they ran as a part of SKL for over a year uh, until December of 2019. And in that time, slowly but surely, they gained more autonomy. They became sort of their own uh, tightly knit community. They had their own Discord. And eventually, in December of 2019, the Victorians. Um, <laughs> I know the exact date, games, because I made the SKL timeline, uh, which you can find if you scroll up in the Discord, uh, which I, I had to search through all the Discord logs to get this all uh, figured out. So, um, but anyway, in December of 2019, uh, the Victorian Guard officially split off from SKL very amicably. Uh, Sokar was fully in support of it, and, and the two outfits remained closed for quite some time um, and formed Praetorians VS, Prey, P-R-A-E. You may have seen them running a few times. Um, and at the beginning, they were still pretty closely knit uh, with SKL. We had a recruitment channel for them inside of our Discord, and in the first Outfit Wars, they were our Delta squad. But by the time the next Alpha Wars had come, they had done so much recruitment on their own. They had become such a strong and uh, active outfit on their own that they were pretty much fully separate. Um, and once they did fully separate, uh, separate another group popped up within SKL. Uh, Rage Twisted founded the Hunter Killers, basically as the the new prey within SKL, the new group for competitive planet side within the outfit. And so over the last two, three years now. Uh, Praetorians have developed over time. The Hunter Killers have developed over time, uh, participated in numerous outfit wars. Uh, Hunter Killers and Praetorians often ran together along with Bushido Way pretty pretty often. Um, <laughs> competitive planet side. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. Beautiful. Thank you for those gifts. Always, always a pleasure. Um, but yeah, so that's how it's been running for quite some time. And recently, uh, it started making more and more sense that the Praetorians should come back, should rejoin the Legion, that the Praetorian Guard should be refounded, um, and that we should potentially welcome them in. So what the situation is, uh, is that Hunter Killers, we uh, bid the Hunter Killer name, the title, the, the division within SKL, a fond farewell, and in its place will form the Praetorians, which will basically include any of the active hunter killers um, and, and function much the same way, uh, potentially to a, a little greater degree in terms of scale. So basically what we have is, you know, we got these major groups within SKL, the Academy, the Leadership Corps, and then sort of smaller, more tightly knit groups like hunter killers and the Ethereal Legion. And what this merger basically means is that hunter killers is going away and in its place we're going to have a new, larger group on the scale of the Academy, and the Leadership Corps, the Praetorian Guard. So I'm going to quickly um, open up the Praetorian Guard channels just to be public. Of course, 
our signups channel still has to get its last little bits uh, worked out. Um, so stay tuned for when those signups open up. There's going to be you're going to hop into that signup channel and you're going to join up uh, through there via that. But yeah, that's pretty much the situation, and we'll have the rest of those programs updated soon. And there is a dope emote for the Praetorians in the Discord as well. That's I, we had to give them the cool emote for them to join. That was part of the deal. Not really, but I feel like it's a good plus. I photoshopped that from some like brand that I found online. Don't don't look for it. It's probably illegal. Anyway, so that's honestly super exciting. Um, the Praetorians are going to be running with us even more often than they have before. Uh, the Praetorians are a great way for you to learn just higher skill planet side and run really coordinate. And and if you think you know, hey, I like the platoon, the public platoons. I like the chill casual. Uh, you know what? More power to you. But I'd also recommend that you at least give it a shot. Go to one of those ops, maybe join them, um, check out what they do. They are extremely impressive, and it's honestly super fun. It's just super fun playing with people who know uh, really how to play planet side super freaking well. Um, so you'll be able to join in on their public ops and then also on their private ops. And also, uh, before we move on, I want to give mentality. The, uh, one of the leaders, one of the Praetorian directors, a chance to uh, do a little spiel, also give you some more information on the Praetorians. So let me bring um, him up. Here we go. Invite to speak. All right, there's some button that you're supposed to press, Mentality. Beautiful. Oh, now we go. Hello. Hello, party people. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Castar, for the uh, for the introduction. Uh, again, my name is Mentality. I am one of the uh, one of the three leads uh, of uh, Praetorians, and he get, honestly, Cass, you did a really good job summing up everything. But I guess I could go in a, into a little bit more detail of what we do. Obviously, we do a little bit of uh, we're a little bit more sweaty. You know, we're some sweaty gamers. We try to, you know, uh, honestly, little nerds right now. Not used to speaking in front of a lot of people, lol. But uh, it's all good. Anyway, <sighs> where do I even start? Well, I guess we do. You know, we do competitive planet side, basically. You know, so we do that. We do a lot of trainings. We do one-on-one -on -one trainings. We also do um, a bunch of one v ones, fight club stuff on Jaeger. We do a lot of stuff on there. And click heads, yes, very much we click heads. Um, but we're very focused on individual improvement. We want to individual and squad improvement, sorry. Uh, but ultimately, uh, it comes down to indivi uh, working together as individuals, bringing that all together, and then proving what we could do out on the field, both in uh, both on live and in the Jaeger servers. Uh, we do uh, 6v6 and 10v10. Uh, recently, actually, we're starting up a 10v10 te uh, team. Yep, Ooh. sign up for Pog, 100%. Pog's a very good way of getting better. Uh, so if you're ever interested in improving, you know, getting better, not getting farmed by those two KPM heavies, you know, B-Way, you know, those those outfits, you know, if you're playing on NC. Or actually, they're on TR right now, if I'm not mistaken. So I've seen them, yeah. Yep, so if you've run into them, they're like, man, they're so good. Come by us. We can we can help you improve. Uh, I'm usually one to do one v one trainings or uh, anything related to uh, just general improvement. Uh, we we are also working on getting uh, more people involved in the uh, in other domains, so both vehicle and uh, air combat construction. Uh, I think uh, you guys uh, here at F SKL have a really good. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, I guess really good leadership in terms of uh, both training and, uh, you know, the different, uh, what's the word? About, what's the word? Mm, I don't know. Play styles. Yeah, Yeah, play styles. Yeah, you guys got that. But we're mainly, we're focused more around infantry. So if anybody's interested, uh, you have the sign up here in the, uh, in the SKL Discord. We also have our own uh, Discord still for, uh, where we where we usually run our private ops so we do we do ops on wednesdays uh eight o'clock uh p.m est so i know some of you guys have been coming around for the uh, public platoons 
So, yeah, we use Discord comms. I know, re, but trying to work on, uh, you know, changing over towards in-game comms since I do believe those are more efficient. So we'll be, it's usually we're used to the tighter knit squads within like uh, 12 people. So when we get more people, we'll start working on ways to uh, improve those comms across both squad leads and the platoon itself. But yeah, we're we're here for any individual improvement, any questions, comments, and concerns. Like Cass said, uh, come later at, uh, later on uh, at the uh, at the end of the uh, meeting. So yeah, that's basically a general summary of what we do. Sweet, there you go, people. Right. So thank you, um, thank you very much. Mentality, Praetorians, as you've just heard, is a sick way to improve your planet side and honestly man getting wrecked by gobs and b-way and whoever the hell i run into uh you know it's impressive but you're also like man what if i wrecked them you know what i mean what if i could compete um and honestly playing on yeah you're playing competitive planet side it's it's more fun than you think and you're probably more capable than you think even if you're like a 1kd nerd like me or even worse honestly you can do you can do some serious damage once you learn the ropes and once you run with these people who know how to make you better. Um, so I highly recommend it. Of course, we also have our uh, general academy, which is going to be starting up and, and running a lot of these uh, more generalized things, improving your infantry basic skills, your air skills, your construction skills, your armor skills, a bunch of cool stuff there. But Prey is a good way to join um, and, and start getting a, a little more of a tight net thing. You know, SKL is a big place still. Uh, we're definitely one community and we you know, fairly, we're not massive, you know, compared to some, some communities in some games, but um, it's a good way to, to make some, some closer connections, get some good one-on-one -on -one training uh, mm -hmm. and, and definitely boost your skills. So definitely check out the Victorian channels. Uh, those signups should be going up relatively shortly within the next few days at the very most. Um, and yeah, sweet. God, the Victorians are back. Feels good. Yo. I like uh, Horace's message. SKL will win Outfit Wars next time, calling it. Oh, we got this. We we have to. I mean, think Easy. about it. We only had one squad of prey. Imagine four. True. Easy W. I mean, prey SKL. Let me let me give you guys some credit. You guys definitely do a, a great job here with uh, well, now, what you got going on. Now SKL is prey, and prey is SKL. Look yep. at that. Let's Dude. go. Get some hype in the hype in the chat real quick. Hype. No, that'll actually be sick. I'm yeah. excited. I can't I, wait. I, I'm, I'm always, very I'm excited. Always admire, yeah, mm. it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> and it also just pleases my uh my Roman history brain. Centurion mm. card is like the best of the best in the Roman legions, and now they're in the freaking Sokar's legions. Oh. Beauty. Alrighty. <laughs> Well, that is the uh, the prey announcement. Thank you, mentality. And now I'm going to quickly go over a couple other things uh, before I toss it on over to Horus here. Uh, one big thing is that we're changing up our purge rules. Uh, this probably isn't going to affect the vast majority of folks, but for a while now, uh, we've had some pretty um, strict rules for who um, remains in the outfit uh, due to inactivity so we had uh, low battle ranks you know if you're inactive for more than a few months then we would prune you out and higher battle ranks we'd maybe give it a little more time but still after a certain period of time of inactivity we would print them out and this was mainly because skl just had just way too many members and when you have a huge amount of members when you try to open up the browser to like you know kick somebody who's doing something bad sometimes it just crashes your computer or it just like freezes up massively it's like very not optimized so um, we took to this policy of, of getting rid of inactives, but we're now at a point where the browser isn't too laggy. Um, and we, the last thing we want to have happen is, you know, new player joins, goes away for a couple months, comes back for an update, isn't part of SKL, and, um, you know, is confused or joins maybe less desirable outfits or things like that. And so we decided that we're going to up that purge time to a year, basically, for all battle ranks. So if you're inactive for a year, then we'll probably still prune you out. Um, just to make sure that we maintain some level of uh, of decent numbers, and if the numbers get really high, we'll we'll change those again. We'll let you all know. Uh, but for now, 
that's going to be the new system. So no need to worry about going inactive um, unless it's going to be for more than a year, in which case you're going to want to fill out the purge exemption form, uh, and then you should be good to go. Um, and then I want to just do a quick spiel about Extra Life. Uh, you've probably gotten plenty of pings on Extra Life and, and seen some of the Extra Life stuff going on. If you haven't been tuning into that, we've been running this charity now for uh, over a month and have raised a total of $7,700. Um, it's been nutty, as it always is. Uh, we initially set our goal of 3000 and then somehow we didn't just blow that away a little bit. We blew it away a lot. And then uh, for our $6,000 reward, uh, I did a 12-hour charity live stream. You can see a little bit of that on the YouTube channel. Uh, I think the VOD's still going to be up for like maybe another week or so. I'm not sure. Um, but when I did that, I was like, hey, this is a, you know, this is a cool celebration stream. We're not, it's not a fundraiser. We're just going to have some fun. And then for some odd reason, uh, we got like another $1,000. And then people just kept donating. And now we're at 7700 and it's kind of insane. Um, we have the top donators uh, listed out in the uh, Extra Life Fundraiser channel, although I think. Or, but you might have to update those because uh, I think Tater Nader's up to like 1800 or more. It's insane, insane. Some of these donators, uh, insanely, insanely, insanely generous. And to everybody who's donated at all, uh, we thank you very, very much. We decided to add one final goal, which we had been considering from the beginning, but it kind of put off because it just seemed too difficult. But if we were to reach 10,000 somehow, we would do SKL merch, would make it happen somehow, or be has committed to that. Um, this is totally up to, to you uh, as a donator, if you want to donate whatever you think uh, you can donate. Um, we would absolutely appreciate it. And it goes to a very good cause, uh, children's hospitals through Extra Life, but no obligation whatsoever, even just talking about it, letting folks know about it participating in the streams, you know, thanking the people who donate, uh, all of that contributes and, and is uh, very helpful. So, so thank you to everybody who's participated. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just mind boggling. Thank you again to everybody's donated. And also uh, one final thing is that if you do donate $5 or more, uh, we still have the raffle for 4,000 daybreak cash on the line. Um, donations of $5 or more, get a ticket, one ticket into the raffle, and then for every $20 after that, you get another ticket up to five tickets. So we'll be doing that raffle. Um, once the Extra Life fundraiser is done, uh, which should be, I think, I think it stops taking donations at the end of um, December, maybe, uh, but we might stop it a little sooner, um, maybe mid-December or something like that, once we're once it seems like we're concluded, or whenever Rogue Planet Games you know, puts out their their sort of announcement saying that they're they're ending the fundraiser um but anyway get in on that if you want a chance to win four thousand daybreak cash you could donate five dollars and then win forty dollars worth of daybreak cash feels good um all right that's pretty much the gist uh so thank you once again everybody for this month filled with crazy events and an update that's changed our our whole system and a whole bunch of Discord revamps and rank changes and confusing stuff. It's actually been awesome to see that for the most part, it's kind of working. Uh, and there's some really cool stuff on the horizon as well. And finally, big ups to the Praetorians uh, and a huge welcome back to that entire group. Definitely check them out if you have the chance. Alrighty, Horus, take it away. Alrighty, so yeah, November November has been just awesome. Um, part of that, as Kaz described, was our outfit overhaul. Um, a lot of that is done, you know, some things still to do, um, but we're getting there. Uh, and a big part of that was updating all of our um, our roles, our ranks. Um, you know, we had very much a StarCraft theme before. We're much closer to a, a uh, Roman Legion type theme right now. Um, and you can check that out. Uh, I'll link it here in the town hall chat for everybody. Legion Leadership uh, is our channel. 
you can go and see all of our our main roles there, um, including our new Praetorian director and Praetorian staff roles, uh, describing what uh, those people do there. With that being said, I would like to jump immediately into um, another part of this. So previously, before the restructure, our promotions in SKL would consist from like hive lords all the way through up to um, outfit leaders. Um, and those are very much, you know, one person, um, you know, we have leadership skills. We had, you know, all these different things uh, that people would get promoted into these roles for. Um, but you know, what's ha what happens now, now that we've we changed the ranks? So it's very same thing, um, just with the different uh, roles now that you see in Legion leadership. Um, so like our staff positions, our director positions, um, who knows, you know, maybe, maybe sometime we'll also be promoting new legates and overmines. Wouldn't that be awesome? But today we have a different promotion. Um, and it's a pretty nice one. It is to the editor position of Orbital Strike News. Um, you see that list of the editors and the writers of OSN at the bottom of every single Orbital Strike News post. Um, we have another one going up tonight, actually, as a special town hall edition. And the first editor of OSN was Vox Infinitum. Uh, it was then handed off to myself and Deal as well. Um, and now we have a new editor. This person is pretty cool. His name is Kronk VS, everybody. So big clap for Kronk VS. Um, huge clap, Picard clap, let's go. Um, Star Trek. Um, for those who may not know Kronk very well, Kronk is an incredible force multiplier in our community. He's had a head position in our construction academy. He's been helping out with OSN as a writer for a long time. Um, he's been leading squads and platoons. He helped me a ton when it came to executing the restructure of a scale, with just changing all the channels, all the roles. We spent literal hours just going through all of that. Huge amount of, of volunteer time. Uh, he's been helping out with the Extra Life fundraiser as well. Most recently, planning the SKL game night, which took place last night. Um, so just really, really thankful to have Kronk helping out with that promotion to OSN editor. Um, he is not here. I thought he was going to be here. And then Kronk is like, something came up and I won't be there. And I'm like, oh, very sad. So make sure Kronk won't be here to come up and say anything. But make sure you all ping the heck out of Kronk in this channel. Let him know. We appreciate him. All of this insanely... Uh, all of the insane hard work that he does. Um, so very much appreciated. Thank you, Kronk. We will get your name on the editor's list for OSN, uh, hopefully tonight, if we remember to do it. Uh, yeah, very, very awesome. Um, this also, um, you know, super quick note. Uh, as an addition to that, I will be stepping down as one of the editors, so make sure you ping Kronk, not me, when you need anything OSN. Kronk is now your editor for the Orbital Strike News. Cool. I'm sure he appreciates the 30, 50 pings that he will have. GG's. Will a newspaper cost 75 cents? No, it actually is just for the very low price of free. Just open up your Discord, view the Orbital Strike News channel, and off you go. Begin reading our wonderful newspaper. Please fix. What's wrong? What happened? Sunshine, tell me. Right, of course. You know, all, all funding that you do go in there, all goes to Poncho, the, the true editor of OSN behind the scenes secretly. No, Kronk is the editor here. We'll be sending him any funds that we get. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Academy. What's up with the Academy these days? What's up with the Academy? So with the Academy, yes, exactly. So editor-in-chief is the other uh, title there, longer-term title. Paying everyone every day. Yeah, that was before we had these amazing systems. 
academies. What's going on with the academy? So right now, we are working on rebuilding um, the academy as it was. So before, we had a few different academies that call, were all kind of under the, under the umbrella of academies. We had an infantry academy, armor academy, air academy, construction academy, um, and the officers academy. And all of those were under one umbrella. Um, but with this restructure, what we're going to be doing is having um, all the academies under one umbrella, the infantry, armor, air, and construction specifically. Um, the leadership portion of that is being transferred over to the leadership core, which Kastar uh, mentioned earlier. Um, so that's what's going to be happening there. And it's it's very much going to be the same sort of stuff. Like we have the guides um, you can see near the bottom. Um, we're actually working on getting the guides into hopefully one channel. So it's a little, little more uh, concise, a little easier to read um, through just the one channel as opposed to looking through four different ones. Um, but while we're doing that, you can go look through um, our old guide channels, the air guides, armor guides, infantry and construction guides as well. So if anyone wants to go look at that, definitely go look at it. Lots of information there. Uh, I still remember the day that I figured out that you could hold left and right mouse buttons while holding a construction item and like move your mouse up or down to pull it closer or away from you. That was awesome. And that is thanks to the hard work that our, our people put into construction to actually have that information out there. That's kind of awesome. So those guides are there. The other important bit, though, is how we're putting our trainings out for everybody. How do we put our trainings out? Like, you know, before we kind of go, OK, so we have a couple of trainings every month. We would get, you know, see who's around to do these trainings from our, our members of expertise in these different fields. Um, and that has some, some advantage, some disadvantage. And so this time um, around with the academy, what we're doing is we're going to be having what we're going to be calling Academy Week. Now, Academy Week is going to essentially be a string of trainings within one week. Um, you know, kind of building off the other, relating to some uh, of the, the trainings that are, are happening within the week as well. Um, and so we'll have just a, a, a long week uh, filled with trainings, going to be lots of hype for it, going to be, you know, uh, hopefully getting lots of, of advertisement out there, get lots of people in, kind of all do things at the same time. Um, and it'll be pretty great, Academy Week. Is, that is essentially what it's going to be. So it's going to be taking kind of what was spread out before, and we're going to be um, putting it all into one week. Now, the other special thing for that is that instead of trying to cover Infantry, Armor, Academy, uh, Academy, Infantry, Armor, Air, and Construction, excuse me, um, all in one month, we're going to be focusing on one, one piece of that instead. So for December, We'll be focusing Academy Week on infantry specifically. The next month might be armor, might be air, might be construction. We don't know yet, but we'll let you know when we do. Um, but for this month specifically, for December, we will be focusing on the infantry aspect of Planet Side. Um, so if you have, you know, if you know of any new players, let them know. Hey, Academy coming up, and for all of you as well, make sure to keep an eye on Orbital Strike News, which Kronk is now the editor of, um, to watch for when that happens. So that's. That's essentially what's going on with the Academy, is we're working on condensing it down to uh, one set of channels, just ultimately called the Academy. Um, and y'all can check out the guides and look forward to Academy Week, which again, will focus on one part of Planicide, and then next month, we'll jump to another one, might be Armor, Air, Construction. Um, and we kind of rotate those. So that's the Academy. Now, I mentioned the leadership part of it. Uh, was going to be kind of moved to the leadership core. So what's going on with that? I've actually gotten a few DMs from people saying, hey, you know, I want to sign up for leadership. Where, where do I do that? Um, so this is that information here. With the Academy, uh, the academy well underway, um, the leadership core is next. So with that done, I'll be spending more time getting with people, planning the leadership core, um, and yeah, hopefully getting a sign up soon for those of you that are, are looking for that. Uh, while that's all being done, you can, of course, just like with the Academy, go and look at the leadership guides in the leadership core channels. It's our, our old guys channel. Um, all the information there is pretty relevant um, with the, you know, the caveat um, that I threw in the bottom of that leadership guides channel as well. Um, and that's just that, you know, all of our documents relating to like the leadership structure is obviously out of date now with the restructure that we just did. Um, but all the ones pertaining to strategy, to communications, to tactics, all of that um, 
is still very much relevant. So if you're looking to get right into leadership, definitely go take a look at those guides. And then as soon as we have a sign up, you'll already be one step ahead of the game. So that's the guides. Uh, speaking of the sign up, I do want to just quickly uh, mention that when this new sign up sheet goes out, and it's very much you know like we have a sign up sheet that worked for us for this restructure, uh, and we're kind of just editing to make sure it's you know reflective of what we've got going on here now. Um, and so that being the case, everyone who is currently holding our centurion role, which is essentially our old brew the world uh, blue, wow, words are hard. Mentality was saying that earlier. I agree. Um, words are hard. Brood lord is essentially our centurion role. Um, moved over into the restructure. But yeah, so everyone who had that role uh, will not have to uh, redo the sign up. You'll already be in. You'll be set to go. Um, but yeah, that sign up will be good to go in a little bit. And those of you waiting to get into leadership um, with the permissions that allow you to send out like mass invites and get some basic armory permissions, um, that will be happening soon. In the meantime, I do want to just put a quick plug at the end of this town hall, um, immediately following it, just about um, Orvi Manager who I know is is here listening right now, will be leading a training on leadership. It'll be open to the public, so y'all can get in there, whether you are a centurion or not. Um, so definitely highly recommend you get in there, uh, especially if you are looking to wear the gold star in the near future. So absolutely looking forward to that. I'm going to go to that. I want more leadership training. I never get enough leadership training. So that's it. We have the academy. We have the leadership core um, and Kronk promoted to uh, our new editor role. And with that, I think I will pass it back to Kastar to wrap this up. Kastar, all yours. All righty. Thank you very much, Horus. God, it feels good that things are going to be getting on the road again. Definitely do go to that leadership training if you can, if you're going to be playing for this evening. Um, and Roger that Orby. I'll toss it to you in a in a second. But um actually Orby, do you want to uh, talk before the QA or you want to go um after? Which feels better. Yes, no, maybe so. I'll do some questions first. We'll see. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait. Why can't I hear Orby? Is it just me? No, can't hear me either. Or we... His thing is lighting up, but I can't hear him. His thing is oh. lighting up, yeah. I just heard a hamster on his end. Is that... Anybody hear that squeaking? Oh dear, Orby. No, not yet, unfortunately. Uh, no go. <laughs> Live footage of Orby trying to figure out his microphone. Please, can you all hear me? No dice. Oh, I heard something. All right, he's he's doing technical difficulties. Let's see. Uh, games, you've been pinning the uh, questions, yeah? Bro, can you hear me, oh, please? he's there. Hey, I can hear hey. you. There we go. Yes. I love technical difficulties. All right. Uh, okay, so ju just real quick here. Uh, I'll just do like a quick fire session here of uh, just a bunch of things that are going on as well. Uh, like Kaz said, for extra life this year, uh, we've we're done with pretty much everything uh, as far as milestone rewards go. Uh, we are still looking into the SKL fan art, so real soon we'll be posting some neat fan art in a few of our channels here, and uh, you guys are gonna have things like wallpapers and that sort of stuff to use uh, SKL themed. So we're looking into that. If anybody is interested in uh you know landing a helping hand on that maybe you guys are artists yourselves uh or maybe you know someone who is uh feel free to reach out to me i'm looking into that at the moment uh and uh the only other one that we're still missing as far as milestone rewards go uh is the minecraft server event so if you guys are unaware once again we have uh, an scale minecraft server again uh we just place the uh, warp gate that we had as the spawn for the server uh, again. So if you guys ever check it out, we have this massive warp gate built in Minecraft and it's really cool. And the server has a bunch of neat data packs for you guys to play with. 
but overall it's just vanilla minecraft nice server uh for you guys to just chill if you want and uh planning on maintaining it uh you know permanently so it's gonna stay there forever we're gonna move the spawn around in the future if we need to and kind of restart uh but the server is gonna stay the same uh so yeah if you guys are interested in that the server uh the ip for the server is in the extra life channels it's a pinned message uh but the server is whitelisted so if you guys want to play just reach out to me uh or you can reach out to some of the other folks uh in the SKL uh admins here uh and we can add you uh as whitelisted just ping me in one of the extra life channels or the minecraft channels and the first chance i'll get i'll get you whitelisted uh so yeah those are the two things that we have going for the minecraft event we are thinking about a build contest so if you guys have been playing in the minecraft server we're gonna set up a date you guys will have up until that date to uh you know build whatever you guys are building and uh we'll have like a session of everybody just jumping around the the map and seeing each other's builds uh and we'll hand out some uh just some rewards in the Minecraft server itself, some legendary unique items uh, and a few other goodies as well. Uh, one more thing, like Horace was talking about the leader corpse. Uh, once again, I will be leading the training session uh, in a little bit here. Uh, and like Kaz and Horace said as well, November has been just an incredible month for us all. Like we've had a huge amount of crazy events, uh, server-wide events, uh, RPG events, just a bunch of cool stuff. The Praetorians merging back. So there's a lot of hype going around. And uh, once again, I just always like to you know reiterate this every chance I get. Uh, whenever you guys get the chance, just spread a word. You know, get the word out on the uh, in-game. You know, we always try to get our Legionnaires to come and join us here so they can know what's going on. Uh, pick up the Leadership Torch whenever you get the chance. Go out there, lead a platoon. And uh, just help us get the word out there. You know, it's always nice to have more people, you know, putting out the, the communication to the community. And the more people we get in here, the better. Uh, it's always the struggle, right? Get people to come over from in-game to join in here. So I'd like to say thank you all again to everybody that's joined in the discussion in here as well. And uh, one more thing, just to wrap it up, I will be posting real soon. We don't have it just yet, but we're going to get uh, a lot of the kind of like a bulk media uh package from the uh flyby event if you guys participated in that that was the ceasefire that we did with uh other 15 outfits so we've managed to partner with 15 outfits in emerald some of the largest ones uh and do the flyby event that casa was talking about and i'm prepping uh, a big like media package with all the footage that we get from the event and i'm going to share it with you guys real soon uh with the pictures of the knife fight the bastions flying by each other and i may even do like a sort of a tribute of this year once again uh whenever i get the time now in december and uh post it to you guys i'll post it on the link real quick the uh kaz even if you can get it for me just a quick video that orexis animus did for us and uh just as a quick recap of the event and uh yeah keep an eye out on the channels make sure you're signed up to the uh operations and flash news uh pings if you can and uh yeah thank you guys very much for being here and thank you guys for participating in all of our events so far we really appreciate you guys hell yeah thank you very much for that orby good summary all righty then let's get into these questions question from Cyrae. prey gonna be helping out with the infantry academy week bringing their expertise to bear i would say probably partially and we still have to determine all of that um i think obviously prey is going to be within SKL now and so they're able to participate they're not officially linked up with the academy itself just yet they are still a separate group it was more about the uh, the coordinated play rather than just sort of the the sort of instruction and, and teaching and stuff like that. But um, 
I definitely think we will be deriving some of their their skills into the academy and elsewhere. And there you go, Horace. A uh, bunch of Prey members who are also staff. So that'll be sort of trickling down through our various uh, academy and the leadership core as well. A uh, question from Zoe. Speaking of, do the ghosts still exist or did those specific sections go away when you guys have been restructuring your building? So the ghosts are the Ethereal Legion, is another name for them. Uh, and they do still exist. Uh, they are led by Angel, who has uh, unfortunately, I think, been away from the computer for a while and, and it's going to take some time to build back up. But they definitely do still exist. Um, I think they ran not that long ago. Um, and so I would keep an eye out for, for all that stuff. Definitely still uh, an existing group with an SKL. And um, yeah, IRL priorities. Always IRL is the priority. Uh, and then, good question from Hitter here. It was all cool news, but I didn't understand if it was the Prey outfit will close the span or if they're just around to help. So, basically, the Prey outfit in game is uh, disbanding. So, that will no longer exist as its own outfit. They will be now a part of SKL. They still have their own Discord for organization, for their sort of internal structure and stuff like that, uh, which you'll get an invite to if you join them through SKL. Um, but they are now. I mean, that, that also was the situation with Hunter Killers, right? So they basically are, are no longer their own outfit. They are a part of SKL. They are now under, you know, the SKL structure. The, um, okay, yeah, it'll, it'll still exist in the game, but, but the, the active folks will, yeah. will come. It's not going to get disbanded. But You want me to answer this one real quick? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, so basically, uh, most of, like uh, Poncho actually mentioned, uh, most of the interested people are coming over to SKL. And we have... Um, Basically, we're we're like we transferred our main accounts to SKL in tag, so that way we have that. And then anyone that didn't either didn't want to switch over or would rather put an alt and pray and still rep that pray tag could stay there. But I pushed as hard as I could to get people to transfer their main accounts to SKL, and for us to use our SKL accounts during uh, ops nights. So awesome. that's basically the gist of that. All right, perfect. Yeah, good to know. But yeah, um, so it's not just you know uh, a, a cooperation thing, an alliance thing. This is a, a full a full merger for sure. Uh, and yeah, so it's not going to be a part of the academy. It's just going to be another larger group. So you're going to be able to join the leadership core if you want to learn leadership stuff. You're going to be able to join the academy if you just. I mean, you, the academy is just sort of sort of going to run for all legionnaires, right? You're, you don't have going to have to become a, a member of the academy really um they're just going to be you know it's going to be the organization for hosting trainings and people who want to teach construction or want to teach armor or want to teach air are going to go to the academy and become you know staff members there and, and mentors there and then there's going to be the praetorians who are going to be this other group that you can join into if you want to get into that kind of competitive play if you want to try out and, and do stuff on jaeger do some um more sort of coordinated infantry training stuff like that um that's going to be where you're going to go for that um Cyre, the leadership training happening after the town hall is that going to be recorded slash posted anywhere that's actually a good question i don't know if anybody's going to be heading into that who can record um but that would be sick i'm not positive maybe horace or orby or, or somebody else who joins in can record that us that up for us and then we can get that uploaded somewhere we would let you know um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, Angel just clarified there. The Ethereal Legion definitely still around. Holidays uh, obviously took a little inactivity, but they're definitely still in the zone. Um, will likely be a regular one. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of this stuff still uploaded. You can check out um, the kind of outdated channel, but uh, will be shifted over as we we get the leadership course started up but the officer guides channel has a whole bunch of this kind of stuff in it um there's a there's an old orby leadership training video that you can find um and nice yeah it's going to be another one next month so you can tune into that get some get some leadership skills going refine those abilities of herding cats that's what it's all about Alrighty. Are there any more questions? Here we go. 
Will in-game prey still hold their own Jaeger events separate from SKL? Or are you planning to leave this die? So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you mean to let it die. So the in-game prey outfit just be around but do nothing. Or is it that some people split and came to SKL while prey still does what they've been doing best? So mentality, I think you can answer that um, maybe just a little more precisely than I can. Uh, hold on. Let me just, I need to digest the question for a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, Poncho put it in a good way. Uh, the prey in game that like that part of it, like in tag, like it's basically the old guard, like people like uh, who still like want to hold on to whatever old like the reminiscing basically. Um, when it comes to uh, hold on, some people. I need to still read the rest of the question. Calling them old, nah, not calling them old. It's just more like uh. Uh, I, I I don't know. There, it's more or less that they want to reminisce about like the old, the old stuff. I guess like the things that used to, used to happen. So I guess for lack of a better term, yes, old. Uh. Uh, but the in-game prey outfit just being around, it would be more of like a uh, more of like a farm fit almost, or like for just a, just people holding on to the tag, just to hold on to what it once was. Not so much. Uh, I don't think that'll be a uh, split off. I think those. Pe it's more of prey is more of like a community, a sub community within SKL that is gonna stick around. It's not gonna, not gonna leave. Sounds good. There's the clarification. So yeah, should just be. Oh, here we go. Another another hitter question. I appreciate these questions, hitter. Um. <laughs> okay. I see. A spandex run. <laughs> Our favorite kind of SKL number, actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, the way that Jaeger has always worked is that it's not like you have to all be in the same outfit, at least as far as I understand. You you basically form a team for these Jaeger events, um, often from folks who are in the same outfit, but sometimes you derive from other outfits or people have right. multiple accounts and different outfits and you, know, you can kind of come together. Mm -hmm. So... Whoever's active will be there. Uh, maybe, I guess it's possible there will be somebody who stayed in Legacy Prey, who stays there, doesn't join up in SKL, but maybe would still participate in an event. But overall, Prey is now the competitive division in SKL. Old Prey is a, a legacy thing for those who like the nostalgia, want to keep the tag, don't really care too much about the other stuff. Right, exactly. There you go. Yep. Good clarification. Um, any other questions? anybody in this town hall i like all the interest of prey though that's reassuring hell yeah dude prey is cool yeah I, just, I gotta say it there's some things that are like you know what this outfit name not the coolest outfit name maybe they're still got cool people but it's so cool praetorian guard mm. i was thinking about uh, infantry training later on down the line for like uh the jaeger events we do like uh i know like tags within jaeger and uh live are actually connected so you can't have uh, the same tag in like live as you can on Jaeger. Mm, so right. maybe like eventually, if uh, if we decide to do a, a competitive like Jaeger uh, outfit for SKL, we do mm. uh, SK uh, so cars like uh, Praetorian Legion, mm -hmm. SKPG or something. That's not a great yeah. tag, but yeah, I know. I, yeah, for sure. Nah, <laughs> Prickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just throwing out just throwing out ideas yeah that'd be cool um wait so hitter let me just try to figure out this question uh spandex grunt wants to shoot red and blue heretics checks out ask prey for training ask uh, scale academy for training ask in yell chatting game for training what do grunt know on their effort? okay i see the question i didn't i didn't see the question mark at first and i was confused um so the idea is wants to shoot red and blue heretics, what should they do? I would say the first stop, if that's the only goal. Um, <laughs> God damn it, guitar. If that's the only goal, then probably the academy, the infantry academy is the best place to start, I would say, um, just to get the basics of how, you know, how to position the crosshair, how to do burst fire, how to, you know, these very basic things. Um, if you want to go further, uh, beyond what maybe the academy can provide and it's sort of, you know, delineating between these different divisions and such, um, then Praetorian is a great option because you can learn from people who have a lot of experience and you can do actual competitive planet side where you can really get the practice in doing that stuff. 
um, and kind of on the on the go get your your skills um, you know monitored and and see your stats and and run with people who who know how to make you even better. So I would say the SCAL Academy, generally speaking, uh, you know it's going to be it's going to be lots of experts in there and it's going to be able to give you lots of really good tips. But it's it's more of a let's give you the information that you need efficiently, give you some one on one mentorship, uh, run some trainings teach you how to do this stuff, get you into the stuff, teach you, you know, what things to buy and, and, and how to do things from the beginning. And then something like Prey is going to be, you know, teaching you the, the really closely knit competitive squad dynamics and such like that, that, that make these groups uh, especially effective more than just their clicking head ability. Yeah. Basically like working together, like heavy medic working together, like that mm-hmm. sort of dynamic. Right. Yeah, we could teach we could teach more about that, as well Definitely. as of course improving even more so on whatever individual stuff that you decide to work on in the academy. But I would recommend uh, getting down the basics first, then come to us before you. Like come I, in. I guess I guess a good way to put it, uh, Hitter, is that the the system right now is divided into three parts. Right, we have three main core divisions inside of SKL now. The academy will be like the trainings, right? The specialized trainings. So like Horace mentioned, you have uh, this month, it will be infantry training. So you probably have like infantry 101, which will be like introduction to infantry play. Then you'll probably have like a point hold specialized uh, class and that sort of stuff. So for legionnaires to learn how to play, they're going to go to the academy. And the academy are going to be one, running these specialized weeks in e- each of the topics that we've covered so far. So you can get like all of the uh, all of the content, right? The educational stuff is going to be focused in the academy. The same thing will happen for the leadership corp, uh, but specialized into leading public platoons and squads, right? Or just leading ops, and it will be sort of the same thing. You'll get uh leadership 101 then you'll probably get like a motivation class then like a strategy guide on map and maneuvering uh point breach point hold uh and that sort of stuff uh new player mentality and we'll get some more specialized classes like that just inside of the leadership corps and then the praetorians now are just the the veteran grizzly uh competitive core Right, so these are the guys that are going to be around, be going around and just wrecking house. Right, complete competitive events. They're going to be the team. Uh, if you're interested in playing in SKL in a higher level, these are the guys that you're going to be looking for to play with now. And uh, merging Praetorians together with sort of what Infantry Academy did sometimes, and also sort of what Hunter Killers did. Uh, we're likely to get like a, a more consistent experience of that sort, right? So Jaeger events, competitive events, uh, more sweaty squads and platoons on the live server is kind of what we're expecting to see more here. So it, it's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to see how all of the three parts shapes up. Hell yeah. All righty. Final look like another question from Hitter. Thank God for these clarifications, actually. Uh, will there be Praetorian Guard people part of the SKL Academy if wants to get if one wants to get one-on-one training with, with any of them? Um I think there are already yeah. some who are part of the Academy staff, and there will definitely be more in the future as well. Yeah. Um, I could say personally I'll be doing one-on-one stuff. So just DM me or like at me in like any of the any of the SKL channels. I'm willing to help out. But all right. yeah. I'll try to see if we, when we get more coaches and whatnot, uh, the, I'll make sure they're in those channels as well. So I'm not the only one doing the trainings. That way we could cover a little bit more, a uh, little bit more time. That way, if I'm not available, yep. another coach would be able to step in, be able to do the same thing. Yeah, th- this is why I especially think that it's going to work much better than the previous systems that we had. And maybe even than Praetorians before, because now like the the connection between getting the legionnaires and connecting them into the guys who know how to do the playing is going to be much easier, right? We can just, you know, get the legionnaires in game and say, hey, we're having this this group of specialized people that know how to play the game at a higher level and they're willing to run trainings and the internal recruitment to their division and uh that connection between the people you know 
who are playing in Praetorians now and the the possible future Praetorians are going to be, you know, easier inside of the SKL system because legionnaires to Praetorians is kind of what we want to see happening more and more. All righty. There it is. Let's see. Any other questions for this town hall? SKL Bed Wars win or be on it. Get on it. Program. Mm, yes. Bro, I got it. Program yes. the Discord bus. Let's go. Dude. I got it. No worries. Win air fryer right now. Oh, yeah, true. Poncho. I was going to say, what if we make bro. it so that way we win an air fryer on winning Bed Wars? <laughs> bro, get, we will get an SKL air fryer merch. <laughs> or we Honestly, just said it. Clip it and oh, ship yeah. it. There, there it is. Yes. Yeah. I'm get, to, it get to 10K. Get to 10K. SKL air fryer merch. Yep. Yeah. Are we the Legion? So like, I'm not even sure exactly what you mean, but sure. It's probably a reference to something. New Vegas. This is the <laughs> worst thing Poncho has ever done. Correct. Clearly, you don't know about Poncho's extensive list of war crimes. He kills Against medics the, uh, on the daily. He does, actually. He revels in it. He enjoys it. Yeah. Uh, everyone, just to clarify here before we wrap up, because I feel like we're getting to the tail end here, uh, I'll need a few minutes break here before we fire up the training for tonight. So I'll get the ping out on the operations channel in a bit, and uh, we'll get started in game. About 15, 20 minutes here, just so I can take care of some stuff before jumping into the training. And I'll see you guys on the live server. Hell yeah. All righty. Well, from the looks of it, we have run our questions dry. Thank you, everybody, for coming to this town hall. Thank you, everybody, who spoke during the town hall as well. And, oh boy, exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Hey, now, moves. games, can we play some outro music that isn't a radio station? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> the radio station thing is cool. But also... <laughs> No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's still November. <laughs> it's still